my parents won't give me let me propose to my girlfriend with a family ring because my sister isn't married yet. Just need to get this off my chest. My girlfriend's birthday is on Saturday, and I plan on proposing to her. Our anniversary is six months from Saturday April 29th, and I think that would be a wonderful day for a wedding. When my grandma died, she left all kinds of jewelry to my mom. She always said if I wanted one of her rings to give to a woman in the future, she would let me pick. I know my mom knows she said this. I asked my mom for one of the rings, but my mom said, not yet. She and my dad said my sister will be upset if I get engaged while she is still single and not married. It's not a secret that she's desperate to get married. But that's not my problem. My sister turned 29 in March, and I turned 31 last month. My parents said she'll be upset if I get married a month after her 30th birthday. So, I went out today and bought a ring. It was never about money because I can afford to buy one. I thought it would be special to give my girlfriend a family ring. I'm still proposing on Saturday despite my parents forbidding me to. I'm just pissed off that they asked me to hold off until my sister is married when she isn't even in a relationship. Pisses me off but I don't want anything to spoil my girlfriend's birthday. Now, for the comments. Commenter 1 for her 30th birthday, your parents can gift her therapy. I turned 30 backs in August. Never married. You know what happened? Nothing. The world doesn't end when you're still single at a certain age. Comment or two that's so weird. It's not like you're 17. A month after she turns 30? Does she own every month? Just wait until you start having kids or something before her. I get being sensitive to her feelings, but this is way over the top. I mean, they could let her pick a ring first and set it aside for the future. It sucks that they're going to be more worried about her feelings than excited for you. Then they'll wonder why you always spend holidays at the in-laws update I proposed on Saturday like I originally planned to. I proposed with the ring I bought after my parents denied me one of my grandmother's rings. As I said in my original post it wasn't about money. I could afford to buy a ring. It was about being sentimental because my grandmother always told me I could have one of her rings. I didn't do anything elaborate or public. I proposed over breakfast, and she said yes. She called it the best birthday gift she's ever gotten. She had the same idea as me and had suggested we get married on April 29th, our third anniversary, before I even brought it up. So that's what we are doing. We both agreed we don't anything huge or expensive so we're going to keep it small. It's 1.15pm now, about 28 hours since I proposed. When we announced the news, my sister was upset just like I knew she would be, and my parents were mad I didn't listen to them. I'm 31 and don't rely on my parents for money. I told my parents and sister if they are unhappy, they can skip the wedding. It would suck if I didn't have any family there, but I also don't want them to spoil this. I wasn't going tell my fiancé what went down but I did once my sister started melting down so she wouldn't be blindsided by any of it. She assured me she loves the ring and thinks my family is wrong. Her family had the exact opposite reaction as mine and they are all happy for us. So that's it. All is well. My fiancé is currently at work, and it may sound stupid, but I miss her. She told me her co-workers are happy for her and I know mine will be too when I go in later today. Edit I also appreciate all the supportive comments in my last post so thanks for those. Commenter 1 What happens to the ring if you get married before your sister? Would she get to keep the ring? Original poster No because my parents said that if my sister was married, they would have let me pick one of the rings like my grandmother said I could. My parents said that if my sister was married, they would have honored my grandmother's wishes. Out of all her jewelry I would have only gotten one ring and the rest would go to my sister. There are multiple boxes full of jewelry and multiple rings. She really liked jewelry. I didn't expect my parents not to honor her wishes and especially over something I have no control over. Comment or two where is it written that if your sister's not happy then nobody else can be either. Your parents spoiled the shit out of her. She'll never find happiness with that entitled attitude. Good on you for your response. Congratulations on the engagement and upcoming marriage. Your family can go suck it since you're creating a family of your own. Update to my original post and the first update can be found in my comment history but the gist of it is my grandmother loved jewelry and always said I could have one of her rings for my future wife. When she passed away, she put in her will that I was to be allowed to pick one out if I was getting engaged. The other hundreds of pieces of jewelry got left to my mom to be eventually passed on to my sister. The rings I was supposed to pick from were not her engagement ring or any of the most expensive jewelry she had. In October of 2022 I asked my mom for a ring because I was going to propose to my then girlfriend of two, five years, but my mom said I could not have one and my dad backed her up. It was because my sister would be upset that I was getting married first. My parents forbid me from proposing. I was 31 years old when this happened, and I live in a different province, 
so they had no grounds to forbid me from anything. My grandparents on both sides came to Canada from Scotland. There is nothing in either culture that says I am supposed to wait until his younger sister gets married first. I bought a ring and proposed to my wife on her birthday. My parents were angry I didn't listen to them. My sister had an absolute meltdown when she found out about my engagement. I had not told her in advance I was going to propose because I knew she would react badly. Even though she was 29 years old at the time, my wife and I got married six months after I proposed, in April of 2023. It did suck not having any of my own family at my wedding, but I just focused on my wife instead. My update I went 18 months without speaking to my family, from a couple of weeks after I proposed until earlier this month. I guess my mom had a health scare and even though she is fine it got her, and my dad worried enough to get back in touch a couple of weeks ago. My wife told me she would support me in whatever I decided. I told my parents we can't go back to the way things were before and I will not let them talk to my wife right now after the way they acted. My wife and I don't want kids but if we did, I would keep my parents away from them too. They were surprised I got married without telling them. I said I'm an adult who doesn't need their permission. We are going to start with occasional emails for now and go from there. My parents said sister is still upset that I'm married and she's not. She has never apologized for the way she carried on or the way she spoke about my wife. I have no plans to resume contact with her and I told my parents not to bring it up. Again. Thanks to those who left supportive comments in both of my posts. I forgot I had posted here until my wife said something that reminded me of it, and I had some messages asking for an update. Commenter 1 Your sister is a nut job. Even if you lived in a culture where the older gets married before the younger, you are older than your sister, so that really wouldn't matter. I think your parents have enabled her sister's behavior, which has allowed her to continue acting this way, and getting worse. She is miserable and wants everyone else to be too. And your parents should have put their foot down years ago. Maybe now seeing that you are not going to stop living your life because they ask you, they will change. You are getting married has nothing to do with your sister. She is being single has nothing to do with you. Just go live your life and be happy, that's the best revenge anyway. Commenter 2 If it was willed to you, get a lawyer to force the parents to allow you to still choose ring of your choice. It is your inheritance, and they have a fiduciary duty to obey the will.